Welcome to this segment of Woodworking with Wes. On today's video, we're going to talk about the sheet goods that we use in the cabinet shop in building our cabinets. We're going to talk about the different materials and how they apply and how we use them when we build cabinets for our, for our clients and how we use them. We're going to start off by, using, or by talking about some of the materials and, and the things that we need to come up against. We'll, we'll just go through the stack of wood. We've got a stack of wood here and we're just going to go through and talk about each one. Um, this is particle board, very typical. Um, this is a very tight grain particle board. Um, particle board comes in, in different qualities. This particular quality is called industrial board. Um, a smaller grain uh, makes a little smoother surface and it has a little uh, uh, better industrial properties that, that allow us to, to have a better product when we're done. We don't build a lot out of just raw particle board. Um, it's usually an under uh, laminate. We'll, I'll show you in our melamines. This is a typical product that our melamines are on. But this is particle board, one of the things that we have in the cabinet shop. One of the other things we have that is also um, a material that is used for under veneer and, and things like that, this is MDF, multi-density fiber or micro-density fiber, depending upon the, the uh, manufacturer. But it's a very, very, very fine material that is heat and pressed into a three-quarter or it comes in three-quarter, quarter, and even uh, half-inch uh, sheets, very smooth, very dense, very heavy. A sheet of four by eight of this weighs almost 100 pounds, so it's very heavy material. But it's very smooth and makes a good application for veneers. And, uh, and it, it's a good paint grade surface, too. Um, again, one of the things that we use. Now, here is a veneer. Now, veneer is, uh, and we, I have two applications of veneer here, and we'll talk about this one in just a minute. But this is a piece of veneer on MDF. Now, veneer is the hardwood that we use for our finished product. Veneer is cut very, very thin, applied to the, the sheet goods, and then smoothed and sanded. In the, this is all done in the factory, and when we get it here in the cabinet shop, it's four by eight sheets. Very, very thin uh, material, but it gives you a finished product that you can sand and stain and lacquer. And, and makes a nice finished panel. Uh, again, the MDF makes a very smooth veneer so that we don't have any uh, flaws in the, in the surface. Years ago, we used to have veneer on plywoods and there would always be some irregularities in the plywood and that would come through in the veneer. This application of veneer on MDF is a much better application and it makes it much smoother. Um, you have to be careful as you sand because if you sand too much, you can go through the veneer. Again, like I say, it's very thin. But this is a piece of alder, MDF, or, uh, alder on MDF. And uh, so it just makes a nice wood surface to stain and lacquer and put together in a cabinet shop. It just really works well. Now, I want to show you um, Another piece of veneer, before we go any further, this is also a piece of alder veneer, but this is on a piece of plywood. Now, I just talked about plywood. Let me give you a, a smoother edge. We just talked about plywood having some of the properties that we didn't care for when we laid the veneer on, but there's a new kind of, of plywood that we use in the cabinet shop. I'll have my camera come up here very close. If you'll notice, we have a veneer layer here and right underneath the veneer layer right where my fingernail is is a layer of MDF that we just talked about it it's eighth inch MDF on both sides underneath the veneer and then there is a pine ply core um, different manufacturers call this a different by different names my manufacturer calls this gold ply but it has a veneer the MDF, which gives it a nice veneer surface, and then the ply core, um, which is, uh, I like it better because it, it uh, for construction purposes, it holds nails and glues better and, and things like that. But I still have the nice veneer surface 
that MDF offers me. This is the material that I use when I build my cabinets. Also, in, we talked about how heavy uh, MDF is. This is about half the weight. So a sheet of, of gold ply in comparison to a sheet of veneer MDF is, you know, about half the weight for an, and for, you know, muscling it around and moving it and, and building and everything like that. This is a much nicer product to work with, but you still have the beautiful veneer surface that MDF allows for you. So this is the product that we use. Now, for the interior of our cabinets that we use, again, we talked about particle board as a, as a core. Um, this is the, M, the melamine that we use. Now, there are two different kinds of melamine. There is fused melamine and rolled melamine. Rolled melamine is, is a real thin paper sheet that is rolled on and glued to the surface. Fused melamine is actually a painted on surface and, and is heat uh, done with heat, and so it's, it's a nicer uh, application of melamine. It, uh, this is what I use. I use a fused melamine. Um, this is the interior product that I use for all the interiors of my cabinets. Um, years ago, before melamine really got going, we would use a veneer plywood for the interior. We used to use birch plywood for the interior of our cabinets and just clear lacquer the birch, inter birch plywood interiors. Um, that was a very common practice 30 years ago. Um, probably in some areas of the country where the humidity is an issue, um, they may still use uh, plywood interiors. Um, here in the west, we're, we live in the desert west and, and we don't have humidity issues to real, really deal with. Uh, our particle board and our melamine makes a great interior for our cabinets. Nice, clean, smooth, white. Um, and it comes in different colors too. And uh, I'll show you that here in just a second. But um, the melamine is just a beautiful interior surface because it's easy to take care of, it's easy to clean, and it, it makes a nice, bright surface. The same thing, this is a quarter inch piece of melamine, and melamine comes in three quarter inch, half inch, and quarter inch. This is a piece of quarter inch melamine that we use for the back of our cabinets. Comes on an MDF, quarter inch piece of MDF, and we buy it one-sided. You can buy melamine two-sided, and I, we do for our, our three quarter inch sheets. Or you can buy it one-sided. Uh, we do that for our quarter inch backs because we don't need to have a, a finish on the back side. It does come two-sided, but we just buy one-sided for our backs. Um, I just mentioned that uh, melamine comes in uh, colors. It also comes in wood grains. This is a piece of quarter inch melamine on MDF. Both sides have been uh, covered. This is a natural maple melamine. Um, and it com melamine comes in lots of different colors and lots of different wood grains. Um, I have done, uh, I like pantries and closets. Uh, that I have done in, for my clients in the past, and rather than do a stain and lacquer wood uh, because of its utility uh, application, we'll use a wood grained colored melamine. And it makes a beautiful uh, closet or but butler's pantry or something like that. We just use those things that, that uh, allow us to have a nice look, a nice finish, and yet be very durable in its utility. So this piece of quarter inch melamine I, I got out here because I wanted to show you what we build our drawers out of and this is another sheet good. This is a piece of 5 8 pre-finished Baltic birch and this is the material that we use for our drawers. Now we have a video that we've done for our drawers and we show you the material but uh, Baltic birch is a very dense ply, um, natural wood finish on it and then we buy it pre-finished because they put a very industrial pre-finish on it and it allows, allows our drawers to have a real good hard industrial finish. And then we use a quarter inch wood grain melamine for the bottom of our drawers. And it makes a beautiful drawer when we get all done. And that's the materials that we use most common in the cabinet shop. We have our drawers, here's the back of our cabinets, here's the interior of our cabinets. 
Here's our finished end panel and some of the woods that we use for the interior. That gives you an idea of what we have uh, material-wise to work in the cabinet shop to build cabinets for, for our clients. Pretty simple, but important to know. Most of this stuff comes 4x8 sheets. Your Baltic birch comes 5x5 five five sheets, but talk to your lumber provider. Um, sometimes if you're building a smaller project, you can get a pre-cut piece, but 4x8 sheets, that's your typical. So thank you. Thank you for watching Woodworking with Wes.